a new day. This family has been stuck at home together for the past 35 days. Do they awake preoccupied with anxiety about the global pandemic's impact on the economy? Or simply enjoy a pancake breakfast together as they would on any given Sunday? What will be this child's future? Will she ever get to experience the smell of fresh popcorn at a baseball game or be able to go out on a date with a boy only to have her father intimidate that boy in the most horrifying way, leaving her scarred for life? Nobody can dwell on such things because for now, it is enough simply to survive. Just as this pancake transforms from a gooey liquid to a fluffy and delicious treat, they must also transform their lives. Nobody knows what will happen tomorrow, but just like this pancake, life will never be the same again. With millions of people out of work, this young woman is one of the lucky ones. She has been able to keep her job and continue working remotely. But supporting two dogs, a husband, her parents, a sister, a brother-in-law, and the four small children is no easy task. Increasingly, everyone is looking to her. While she slaves away all day on her computer, the pressure is mounting. Other members of the household have little to no responsibility at all. What do they dream about, these majestic creatures? Are they aware of the emotional impact that the pandemic is having on their masters? Or are they oblivious to the suffering of others and simply content to lay around all day while getting their bellies rubbed and eating snacks? At lunchtime, the family gathers in the kitchen for a meal of tacos made by their grandmother. Although she is the most vulnerable among them, she seems to be the least concerned about the deadly virus. Could this be because she has survived SARS, the swine flu, bird flu, pneumonia, two tours in Afghanistan, the chicken pox, and multiple bouts of the whooping cough? As she prepares tortillas for her family, working through the pain of chronic arthritis, she represents a pillar of strength and pain, but mostly strength. For along with her recipe for tortillas, she passes down to the younger generations something even tastier, the will to survive. These three women will be forever connected to each other, but also to something greater, a home. Cut off from the Asa world, this house is a microcosm containing all of life's mysteries, hopes, dreams, furniture, and 3,552 rolls of toilet paper.